to zoom out for this next question here. Think about this franchise and where it's at. Do you think their best strategy right now in Seattle is to find a way to get a deal done with DK Metcalf, which surely will be for many, many, many millions of dollars, perhaps $25 million per year or something like that, or would they be better served to try to trade him away and make it the third wide receiver blockbuster trade of the NFL offseason? Well, Phil, I think there's a lot of conversation that has to be had. In the, you know, before you can get to what the resolution is going to be, whether it's going to be a long-term contract or trading them away, trading them away. By that, I mean this. Look, how does one, how does John Snyder, how does Pete Carroll, how do they view DK? Do they view DK as a difference maker of the variety of the guys that have been getting paid top dollar this offseason. Do you really do you really look at DK the same way you look at Devontae Adams? Do you look mm. at him the same way you look at Tyreek Hill? Do you look at him the same way as you look at Stephon Diggs, AJ Brown, Cooper Cup? Look, I wouldn't put him in that category. I, I think he's a notch below that. Now the next question is, well, what is he asking for? What does Seattle think of him and what is he asking for? So if they're somewhere close in that low $20 million range and Seattle feels as though that philosophically it makes sense to pay him that amount, then fine, then you keep working towards it. If he's talking about Devontae Adams, Cooper Cup type money, then look, my, my best guess would be that, look, they're not going to pay that kind of money and they will look at what their next best alternative is. And we saw this past year. Look, wide receivers more and more and more are starting to be able, are starting to be drafted higher and are providing great return on investment, especially when you're talking about, and I, by higher, I don't mean just first round, but first and second round. You're getting great return on investment by second rounders. And I'm not saying DK is easily replaceable, but at some point it may come to that. It may come to, look, we're not paying you 25 plus, man. And receivers are coming in the league and they're tearing it up at a much quicker, faster rate. So this is going to be interesting to watch. It really will, because it's had this discussion has a lot of layers to it when you're talking about Seattle in particular. Yeah, li listen, if you're DK, who's throwing me the football, too? Like, they don't have a quarterback. And listen, if you're DK, you're sitting there, they just traded away Russell Wilson. We don't really have a quarterback. If Jimmy G was available, if he gets there, okay, well, there's that's a different story. And, and I think that team would be in better shape. But right now, they don't have the answer at quarterback. And Pete Carroll is the oldest head coach in the National Football League. If you sign a four-year contract, in two years, he might be hitting the surfboard in Hawaii retired at 72 so I really think that he needs to figure out okay am I going to be here who's going to be my quarterback who's going to be throwing me the football because we just had a guy in Green Bay leave because he didn't know if Aaron Rodgers was still going to be throwing him the football in a year so there's a lot of things that this team has to figure out number one starting at the quarterback position yeah. Earlier discussion comes to fruition. It could be Jimmy Garoppolo throwing the football to DK Metcalf if he is still there in Seattle. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.